for the Gamma Delta chapter of the Sigma Phi Gamma International Sorority in Oklahoma City, and we say, Good morning, America! It's Sunday! And good morning to all of them, and good morning to all of you, and welcome back to Good Morning America Sunday. I'm Antonio Mora. And I'm Willow Bay. Coming up, how to afford the high cost of holiday gift giving. It may be a bit better to give than to receive, but try telling that to your bank account. In a few minutes, we will show you how to spread plenty of holiday cheer without spreading yourself too thin financially. And speaking of thin, we will have a recipe for low-fat Thanksgiving pumpkin pie with a cholesterol-free crust. This, of course, is something you're going to eat. But you're going to love it. I just know it. I just <laughs> know it. Sounds way too healthy for me, Will. <laughs> but first, we pay a Sunday morning visit. You may not remember Ken Kimmons from his roles in the 1970s hit movies like Network or Woody Allen's Oscar-winning Annie Hall. And you may not remember him from the 1980s hit TV series Dallas. But unless you've seen no TV in the past several years, you probably do know that Ken Kimmons is athletic director Howard Burley in ABC's long-running hit sitcom Coach. When he's not acting, Ken Kimmon serves up plenty of hits of his own as a second-degree brown belt in the Japanese martial art called Shirinji Kempo. And we spend this Sunday morning with him in the dojo at New York City's Kenzen Institute. Good morning. Good morning. Now, Hi, Ken. is this the usual hour to be doing Shirinji Kempo? Uh, <laughs> it's certainly unusual for me to be doing Shirinji Kempo at this hour. Usually, uh, in the evening in Los Angeles, I'm practicing with Yamamori Sensei, my, my teacher there. I'm privileged to be this morning with uh, my good friend Larry Sharp, who introduced me to Shirinji Kempo, Miyata Sensei, the branch master here in New York, who is also the president of the East Coast Shirinji Kempo Federation, and my friend, Mr. Kawashima. And you're going to get to see uh, Miyata Sensei and Mr. Kawashima do a demonstration. Uh, it'll be kind of a speeded up version of what Larry and I are going to show you this morning. Ken, before we get to that, it seems yeah. like every few years there's a new uh, Japanese martial art that comes around first, you know, judo, then karate, then uh, kung fu, then taekwondo. Now, is this the the trendy martial art of the moment? I don't think Shirinji Kempo could be called uh, uh, trendy. It's it's really steeped in martial arts tradition, and uh, our uh, martial art is appealing to me because it's 50% uh, meditation and philosophy, and 50% uh, uh, completely defensive. Uh, techniques, martial arts techniques, and we're divided. The thing that makes us unique in terms of uh, the martial art is we're divided into two systems, punching and kicking and blocking the hard techniques. We also do uh, soft techniques, uh, uh, joint locking and, uh, and throwing that you might have seen in... Uh, you know, Ken, in, in reading about all this, I, I, I found this that said, something that said that martial arts spirit is a source of powerful energy and promotes a pleasant disposition in the individual. <laughs> How do I see? <laughs> I thought this was kind of interesting. Is it the punching and kicking somehow really? makes you a nicer guy? <laughs> well, it does give you a sense of, uh, of, of self-confidence. And in Shirinji Kempo, we always work in, in pairs because our aim is to restore harmony and cooperation with each other. Uh, naturally, uh, this is aimed towards uh, harmony within yourself. But we wanted to go out to the community and the world, too. So it does give you kind of a, a, a feeling of the desire for, uh, for peace, unless someone tries something with you. <laughs> in which case, then you're forced to return it to the state of harmony by neutralizing that person. Ken, would you be able to give us a demonstration? I'd love to. OK. Uh, I'm going to show you first uh, simple punching and kicking techniques. My friend Larry is going to help me. After I do that, I'll show you what I mean by the soft techniques. And okay. uh, then uh, we have a treat. Miyata Sensei and Mr. Kawashima are going to do the same thing we did. It's kind of like instant replay, but speed it up instead of slow down. We'll do the slow part for you, and I'll explain. Okay. First, we salute. <coughs> He's in an offensive position. I'm defensive. Larry's going to punch, and I will block. He'll punch again. I'll cover. He punches again. <coughs> I kick. That's the very simple blocking, kicking, and punching techniques. This is one of our first uh, techniques, and we practice it all the time in now, the dojo. I, I notice that there are no mats. Oh, we don't use mats. No, Shirinji Kempo doesn't use mats. It's just the hardwood floor, which... Uh, which must hurt. It, it, it hurts. You become used to it, and you learn how to fall, but it's a lot better than cement. That's, this is true. <laughs> I'd rather be attacked in here than outside. <laughs> Now, there are soft techniques We call in this them field? soft techniques. I'd frankly rather be punched than have this demonstrated on I mean, Larry's going to be kind enough to attack me, and I'll show you what I mean. Larry? 
First, I try to block him and stop him. That doesn't work. If he pulls me, I'm going to give myself a low center of gravity. If he starts to punch, I'll block him here. Now I'm going to stun him with what we call Mayuchi, which is a blow to the eye. I won't do it, though. I'll hit him in here. Watch the joint lock. As I step in, I'm going to lock his arms yeah. like this. Wow, that looks like painful. that really hurt. Watch well, how this ends up. Yeah. This is the technique you want to try on a casting director that you're not completely friendly <laughs> with. Before, before we go quickly, yes. talking, talking about acting, couldn't your character on Coach use a little of this to uh, beef him up a bit? <laughs> well, I do it, but it's mostly psychological, you know. Uh, I don't know if they'd, uh, if they'd want me to do this on the air, and I, I use martial arts really for its best purposes. I don't know if I would like to exploit it that way, but... Uh, unless the sensei wanted me to. Before we go, let's just see the sensei. Well, I would love to have you see okay. Sensei Miyata. And Mr. Kawashima will demonstrate in an expert way what, what I just showed you slowly. Sensei. Oh, oh. <laughs> Note his economy of movement. Again, there you have your gripping, the joint locking in the throat. Oh, yeah. oh. Excellent. Ken, thank we've got to go. Thank it's you, uh, Thank oh, you very thank much you for so joining much. us this morning. Very I hope you enjoyed this. That we was did. great. Thanks to the sensei. And I thank all of my friends here in New York City. Thank you. Thank you very much.